Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix and today is the day. You see last Wednesday we got this box in the mail right here and I knew what was in it and I wanted to tear it open for you guys but we were so busy here in the shop I didn't have a chance to so I decided to come in on Sunday and make this happen. So we're gonna open up this box and we're gonna tear it down and see what's inside of it. Okay, here goes. What do we got here? Ah. Xbox One S. It's a two terabyte version. Now we're gonna tear it down. Okay, we gotta get the tabs open here. Let's see what we got in here. Looks like we got our KL HDMI cable. Looks like we got a controller in here. Batteries. Okay, here's our controller for the Xbox One S. Looks a little different, it's got some nice texture on the bottom. Um, we'll be taking that apart in another video. Today we're not gonna take it apart, um, but it looks nice. What else we got in here? Uh, power cable, okay. Uh, what do we got? Looks like uh, Xbox Live, uh, probably our one month free trial sort of thing they got going on. The stand, owner's manual, that stuff. Okay, and finally we get to the box itself. Let's have a look at this thing. Now this part, I'm not gonna tear this part up because I may, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this thing. I may give it as a giveaway at some point, but I kinda wanna also keep it around for when I start getting these things in for repair. Then I've got some spare parts. Okay, let's have a look at this thing. Um, it's a lot smaller than a regular Xbox One, as you can see. And it looks, it looks pretty clean, pretty nice. Um, you got all your ports in the back here. It's a cool little box. Let's take it apart. So the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, I'm assuming we've gotta take the warranty sticker off. Luckily, that's our specialty here. Probably not gonna be able to do it with my fingernails. All right, I gotta go with some tools. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got uh, some tools over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom it in a little bit closer so you can see exactly what we're doing here. And uh, you can see how to tear this thing down. Okay, first things first, we're gonna grab, we've got a small dental pick right here. We're gonna get this warranty sticker off of here first of all. So we've got the warranty sticker off. Okay, the warranty sticker's off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can figure out how to get the, this uh, bottom black piece off from the rest of the case, or the top case, I guess you could say. Um, I'm gonna start by using our uh, plastic opening tool that we use for our other Xbox opening and see if we can get this thing open using that. It works great for the other models, so let's see if it'll work for this. It takes a little bit of maneuvering, but as you can see, it is coming off. Okay, this one we have to get around this plastic tab here. So we're gonna use some different uh, kinds of opening tools here. As you can see, we've almost got it. So we're gonna leave that one right in the corner there. We're gonna flip it around. 
Okay, we got that part. Of course, this one, uh, this side can't went back in after that, so we'll have to pry this back off. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this up like this. Now that we're kind of starting to get it loose. Let's try over here. Okay. Okay, let's have a look in here. Okay, we just got more plastic tabs in there. So I think you can get it, you can see pretty easily what I'm doing here. We just gotta get those plastic tabs free under here. The tricky part is just seeing exactly where they are. And then once you do that, if you push right where the tab is, so there's a tab there, so we push there, and we push there, so the next one's probably right around here somewhere. You can hear it click, so I think we got it close. I'm gonna use, switch to my other opening tool here. That one is getting a little bit worn out. I'm gonna flip it up on its edge where I can really get some more um, torque here on it. There we go. Now we're getting it. And there we go. Nothing broken, everything looks good there. So these are the tabs you're trying to get out, so that's why I was pushing in, because these tabs hook into these tabs right here, and so you gotta push that in to disengage that tab. So now that what we got in here is all these screws. We're gonna take the green ones out first, and that should hopefully let us take that out. So I'm assuming they're gonna be the T9, T10, yeah, I've got a T8 on my bit and that's too small. I gotta run and get my T9 and we'll use that to remove those screws. Okay, I've got the T9. I don't know how well you can see it here. The T9, it is a security torque because it's got the hole in the middle. So please keep that in mind as we're doing this. So we're gonna put it in our electric screwdriver and we're just gonna pull these out. Okay, looks like we got all the green screws. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over, see if this top case pops off. Oh, it must be held in by some clips or something now. So let's have a little bit closer look at it. Okay, so it looks like Looks like we got some clips on the sides, on the sides there and maybe on the back here. Yeah, you can see it holding it in. So what happens is this will slide up and then it'll just pull out. Now you don't have any ribbon cables or anything like that you have to worry about like in the Xbox One, it just uh, comes all free. So that's a nice thing about this. So now we've just got this. There's the back still, there's the bottom, and there's the front. Right there. And then we got one side. It looks like we got the Wi Fi module right here. And nothing on the other side. So, the next thing we're going to do is let's take the Wi Fi module off first. So, we're going to use our same T Torx T9 screwdriver. 
And so I've got three screws. Oh, lost one. We'll pick that screw up later. And this just pulls out. So you can see it's, uh, it's similar to the one on the Xbox One. And it just plugs in there and you just push it in. So we'll pull that out. Um, one thing about this one is there's no wire that connects to it. So it looks like all the connections are done just for, through this white connector right here. So there's that. Let's take a look and see if there's anything else we need to take off. We do want to take this front uh, RF board off, it looks like, so that's what we're going to do next. Now, all of these screws, these are kind of a pan head uh, T9, security T9. Actually, these ones aren't even security, these are just like a T9. Um, and they're all the same size, so the one on here, it's the same size as this. So the nice thing is you can just put them in a pile. You don't have to keep them separate. Okay, got all those out of here. And I'm assuming this just pulls off. Yep, kind of the same white connector right there. So that white connector just goes right down here. So that's another uh, easy thing. Microsoft has made it easy to do. So it looks like we are ready to pull the top off. As you can see, it's loose. So the top just pulls off. There's the top part. And then we get a look inside. So one of the cool things about the Xbox One S is it's got an internal power supply. So that means no more, um, no more external power bricks. That also means that it's possible, you know, if this goes bad, it's gonna be a lot harder to replace because you have to take the whole thing apart to get to it. So there's an upside and a downside to having it internal. Um, but as you can see, everything is tightly packed in here. Unlike on the Xbox One, there's a lot of space, but this is tightly packed in. Um, you can see um, everything actually is even marked. Fan 01, disc 02, power 03, hard drive 04. Um, so it's all marked, everything's marked where it goes. Um, so let's get the rest taken apart. So what we got to do now is flip it over and get the screws underneath in order to pull all this stuff up. So we're going to flip it over and then we're just going to start taking these screws out. Now I'm taking the large silver screws out and by the looks of it, I'm guessing they're all the same as well. So far, yes. I could hear something hit the table as I did that, so something came loose there. So everything should have come loose. I'm gonna put my fingers on here, under here and keep it from falling out here. Okay, so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just lift up this disk drive and it looks, okay, we're gonna take the hard drive out first. So it looks like everything, uh, one, two, three, four, we're actually gonna go in the opposite. We're gonna start with four. So the hard drive is gonna come out first and what we're gonna use is a pair of needle nose pliers and just grasp this connector right here. So the connector right here we're gonna go back and forth as we pull up, and then the same on this other one right here. Back and forth and pull up. Okay, the hard drive's loose. Um, and just connected by these two connectors, so we'll put that aside. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pull up the power supply. See how that's connected. So we're gonna flip it out like that, and then We've just got this connector right here. So we're gonna try the uh, needle nose pliers again and just pull them out, pull it out just like that. 
So this is the power supply and let me see if it's easy to get apart. Looks like it should be. Here we go. So there's a tab right here. I'm gonna pull up on that tab. And there's probably another tab somewhere here. We'll start with this one anyways. There's another tab of some sort right here. I can, there we go. Okay, got that tab and then there's another one right here. I'm gonna slide this under here. I'm gonna get a uh, metal screwdriver so I can really get it in there. Now you should just have to push right here on the plastic and it should be, it. there we go, it should be enough to loosen it. You can see we got it loose. Now it's marring the plastic a little bit there because of how hard I pushed. Um, it's not a big deal, we don't, I don't care about the looks of that part of it, so um, that's fine with me. And it looks like right here the plastic is solid, so I'm guessing there's another clip right there. Let me see if I can get this in there. Which it looks like it's gonna be kinda hard to do. Let me see. Okay, and there's another one right here. So, there we go, there's that one and that one. Okay. So that's your internal power supply. Um, the cool thing about this is that it's pretty much any voltage, so no matter where you, where you live, you'll need your specific power cord to plug into the wall, and then this will take care of the rest. This will convert the voltage to what the Xbox needs. So um, anyway, that's the entire power supply. It's tiny compared to the other power supplies, compared to the PS4 power supply, and compared to the Xbox One brick. Okay, and next we're gonna go ahead and take out the disk drive, which is right here. And this one, we're using our needle nose again. And we just pull straight up on the connector. That connect, there's two connectors there. So we're gonna pull straight up on each as we wiggle it back and forth. And there we go. Now this should pull up like that. And there we go, there's the disk drive. Now while we have it here, we might as well see what it takes to get this thing off. Okay, it looks like there's a screw right here that's holding this black plastic piece on. It's a screw with a very large uh, top. The head on it is very large. Okay, now this should pull off. We need to pry this metal up just a little bit in order to help it come off. Okay, that part, and then that part. So we got that part off. Now it's just the disk drive. It looks similar to the Xbox One disk drives, and we've got a model of DG-6M5S01B right there. And we're gonna take a look. We're gonna open this one up. I gotta go get a tool and then we're gonna open this one up and check it out. We're also gonna compare it to the Xbox One to see how similar they are. Okay, this is the Xbox One disk drive. You can see they're actually uh, very similar. Maybe a future video we'll try and uh, see if there's any way they'll fit each other. I'm guessing not, but you never know. So we're gonna take these screws out and have a look at the inside. There's just four screws, same as on the Xbox One. The other two are under this, um, it's kind of metal mesh. Looks like some sort of grounding mesh. So we'll take that apart. Okay, those screws are all off. Now we're gonna lift up this metal plate and we're gonna get to see the inside. Looks like it does have, okay, it's got adhesive on there, that's fine. 
So there we go, there's the inside. We've got the, uh, the green board, which this is the board. I'm assuming that this model is the same as the Xbox One and this board has to stay with this motherboard at all times. Um, that's another thing we may test in a future video and see if, you, see if you can just swap them straight out. I really doubt it, but you never know. And then down here you can see the laser right here um, is the laser. And so that's the inside of the disk drive. And now we're gonna go ahead and get the fan out and check that out and see what it looks like. Get the uh, work area cleaned up just a little bit here. Okay, we're good there. Okay, now um, the fan, I'm guessing what we gotta do is flip it over, take these four screws out, same, on, same as on the Xbox One. So let's get these screws out. And it looks like, I'm guessing this clamp is very similar or maybe the same as the Xbox One. Um, the Xbox One had very few issues with the joints under the APU, so I'm assuming they left everything the same. Hopefully they did because they finally um, have that um, fixed solidly from the Xbox 360. Okay, these screws are the same as the other uh, pan head style, so we're just putting them all in a pile. Okay, now, this, the motherboard and fan and everything should come out. There are some locating tabs though. There's a locating tab right there, and there's a locating tab right there. So, the key to this is to pull mostly straight out um, as much as possible. Let me check, okay, we gotta take these out first. So, let's see, oh, okay, those just slide up. So if you'll notice, there's just uh, little tabs right there. So these just pull up out of there. And these are just uh, screw guides for the longer screws. They go down in these. So, okay, that's up. What else we got here? So I can feel the locating tab catching right here. So I'm gonna push down on it with my thumb. Try and get that out of there. Same with this one. And then we're gonna try and pull up. That doesn't wanna push down very well, so we're gonna take a screwdriver. There we go. That's a little better. So we gotta also do, it looks like there's a metal tab right here. Some sort of metal tab. So what we gotta do is remove that first. I'm gonna use a small flathead screwdriver and pull that out. There's just little, little clips that just clips right down on this metal piece right here. So we'll set that aside. Now that feels a lot more loose in there, so we're gonna just pull it out like that. There's the metal case. And so this back plate can pretty much just stay on there the whole time. It doesn't even need to come off. So we're going to set that aside. So this is what we have left now, the motherboard, and then uh, this X clamp, and it looks like from what I can tell, it's exactly the same as the Xbox One, which, as I said, that's a good thing. The one on the Xbox One seemed to work very well. So I'm gonna just uh, use this screwdriver to pull up this, these clamps off of the clips there. Try to, anyways. Takes just a bit. You gotta, you gotta really get in there and pull them up with it. And that looks like I'm not getting enough of a bite on it. There we go, we got that one. So the rest will be easy now. Okay, we got that one almost. Okay, that one's off, that one's off. Now we're gonna get this one the rest of the way off. And that one. And there's the X clamp. So, now this, the fan and heat sink will probably come off as a unit. I, we do need to remember to take this uh, wire connector off, connection off first. I'm gonna flip it around, I'm gonna use my needle nose pliers. Just grip it lightly and just pull up as you squeeze back and forth or as you wiggle back and forth. Okay, and you can see the thermal paste. So this is the heat sink, we got the regular, the normal copper tubes that go into the heat sink and then the thermal paste 
um, on there, which matches right up with the APU, which is right there. So I'll give you guys a good look at that APU. It looks like it's redesigned a little bit from the Xbox One, but um, very, very similar. So there we have it. We've got the motherboard free and uh, everything looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just clean off this thermal paste. We might as well just replace it since we have it apart. And then I'm gonna put this thing all back together and then uh, we'll give it a test and see how it runs. Okay guys, thanks for watching this uh, Xbox One S teardown. And um, now I gotta see if I can get this thing back together. Thanks again for watching. Keep an eye on our channel. We're gonna be doing some other things like checking for the checking the disk drive, seeing if they're swappable, seeing if we need the green drive board, that sort of thing. We also may try and uh, try and clone the hard drive and see if we can just uh, clone it right over and put it right back in. Um, also, we're gonna be doing uh, some work with the PS4 VR headset as soon as it come, comes out. So keep an eye on our channel. Thanks again for watching. Ask any questions you have in the comments and we'll get to them as soon as we can. Thanks guys.